www.secondcoming.org Subscribe now. The Everlasting Gospel, Part 19, Spirit, Soul, and Body. God intended for the spiritual component in mankind, our spirits, to be his points of contact with us, his indwelling place in us. Through our spirits, he intended to direct our souls, our minds, which in turn would control our bodies. Because of Adam's sin, we are all born without the Holy Spirit dwelling in us, slaves to Satan and sin. This is our nature before conversion. When we experience the new birth, we receive the life of Christ in the person of the Holy Spirit who lives in us. The soul, the mind, is the component in our makeup that enables us to think learn and choose. It is the area that includes our ideals, love, hate, feelings, and emotions. The Bible often uses the term soul to refer simply to a human being, Genesis 14, 21, Exodus 1, 5, Acts chapter 2, verse 41, and Romans 13, verse 1. The soul, with its life of self, is our natural life. The Bible calls it the flesh, meaning the human sinful nature. Temptation comes to us and came to Christ through the sinful desires of the flesh. But the self-centered desires of the flesh cannot be satisfied without the consent of the mind. Christ's mind or soul, being spiritual, never yielded to sin. Thus, he conquered sin in the flesh through the power of the Holy Spirit. Luke 4, verses 13 through 14. Likewise, if we have the mind of Christ, we will not think about how to gratify the desires of the flesh. Romans 13, 14. It is in the mind or soul that Christ gives us victory over sin through his indwelling spirit. The Bible refers to the third component of our humanity, the body, as the body ruled by sin, Romans 6, verse 6. This is not because the body is sinful in and of itself, but because the principle of sin has permeated its members. In saving us, God doesn't try to change the flesh. Instead, he has put it to death through the cross and has given us a new life the life of his spirit. The flesh manifests itself in two ways, sinful acts and self-righteous acts. God condemns both as evil. Coming up next, the everlasting gospel, part 20, law and grace. Please go to www.secondcoming.org for more Christian videos and subscribe to the YouTube channel secondcoming.org